right on him right out of the gate, just how mm -hmm. proud you are. No, he's, you know, I mean, I think when you see guys have success, but, you know, he's got a great wife and his kids, and he just looks like things are all kind of coming together. So you're happy for guys like that. Um, you know, I followed him, you know, when he was at BC, and then uh, the ability for us to be able to add him to our football team. So, you know, he's done a great job, and you, know, you guys hit on a lot of it. You know, he, um, he doesn't look for a lot of recognition. He's been very consistent for us, very productive. We put him in a lot of different places and ask him to do a lot, and um, you know, he's been great to coach. When AJ spoke yesterday, he, he has said that he's really grateful for the emotional deposit that you make with, with the players and the connections. But for you, like, why is that so critical to go beyond X's and O's and on the field and actually connect with the men? Well, I mean, I think you just, uh, you know, as you become a, a coach and a teacher and a mentor, um, you know, and I think that AJ w was fantastic. I think that he was honest, um, he was thoughtful, he was sincere. And it is a business. This is a business, and there's 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 things that come up within this business. We have to to let players go. We have to make decisions about contracts, and um, that that can get muddy sometimes. But I think the honesty and 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 truth and sincerity and being authentic, um, and and I, and it ha and it wasn't easy. You know, what I mean, it wasn't easy to get to know AJ the way that I know him now. I mean, and and it's hard for me to have a relationship that's like that with 69 players, with 53 guys on the practice squad and or on the active roster, 16 on the practice squad, the guys that are on injured reserve. I mean, there's 80 guys that come through this building, 80, 80 players. And so, um, you know, I do my best, but to try to get that relationship with with everybody, um, some it's stronger than others, and you know, certainly it's something that I feel like is important. You know, so that guys can, you know, you can hold them accountable and you can coach them and you can explain things to them uh, because there is a, um, you know, there's a connection there that you've got something um, that you believe in and that uh, you know, I told them about love. Love, love isn't, uh, you know, making excuses for guys. And, you know, if you care about somebody, that doesn't mean, you know, being able to enable them and, and let them get away with things. You know, I mean, it's teaching them and, you know, holding them accountable and trying to get them to believe in something, you know, bigger than themselves. I think uh, your stats have another excellent stat that um, I think you guys lead the league in scoring on your first possession in the second half. Um, what, what do you, is that significant? Do you, do you, uh, are you making note of that? Uh, um, what, what, is that what does that say maybe about what you guys are doing at halftime or, or does that say? Well, I, I do know offensively we take input from um, from the players, you know, about you know, what what worked, what do we like, what do we feel like we can do. I, I go in there, I go into the defensive side, offensive side. I see I see Keith and Todd, you know, working about, hey, here's where we're going to go. And then they do. They cover, you know, the openers again for, for the second half. And, um, you know, th those are always going to be critical, you know, those last couple minutes of – of the first half where we've been able to, to get some stops and some points or you know, not allow points or not allow teams to double us up and, and gain some extra points there. In the past game against the Saints, Adrian says he's pretty comfortable catching the ball. You, those guys starting to feel work in and feel better in the past game? Yeah, those guys just have to catch the ones we throw them. And I think they've done that. And so... It, it's a it's a package that we'll have to use, and Ryan's you know in the past whether teams are dropping out of there, you know have to be able to get it down to those guys. Um, the, the 49ers last week on Monday Night Football used Debo Samuel five or six times to run the ball. Does AJ have those kind of characteristics that he might be able to do, you know something like that. If you guys ever you know, a thought that might help. AJ him. had a carry last week. Right. You know, it's five or six too much. I'm, Curious, just. Oh, I'm sure it would be if we if we ran him five or six times, it would be too much. And if we only ran him once, it wouldn't be enough. Okay. You Sweet. Maybin, Long, Evans, Dupree, Davis, McNichols, Swaim. Have a great Friday.